Hi Pisces, how's it going? Welcome to my channel, Universal Intuition. My name is Jacqueline. Thank you all so much for being here. Today's video is going to be your mid-August general reading. Again, for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, or if you're cross-watching for a Pisces. Um, as we always do right after this general reading, we go right into your love reading, which is the extended. That one is downstairs in the description box below. It's the first link when you open up the description box. Some of y'all have asked, where is the description box? It's right under the video. It's where the title would be. If Sometimes you have to open it up and there's a little um, arrow, uh, arrow pointing down. Click the arrow, it'll open up the whole description box, my email, my Instagram, um, any and more information about me, how to contact me, personals, all everything you need to know about me is in the description box. Okay, so some of y'all might not know that. So if you want to do the extended, if you want to know more about me, my links, all that stuff. Oh, and I just started a TikTok. Everyone and their mother is Jacqueline, why are you not on TikTok? Do little readings on TikTok, TikTok, TikTok. I was resistant for a long time. I also know it might not be around for very much longer. <laughs> um, but it is really, really fun. I started one. So if y'all want to follow me on TikTok, I'm doing just like one or two little fun videos a day. They're only a minute long. So if y'all want to come follow me, I'm Universal Intuition on TikTok. So I need to add that to my description box. Speaking of, let's get into it. Enough chitter chatter. Um, let's see. Anything else I need to tell y'all, Pisces? I love you. Thank you always for your support, your likes, shares, subscribes, donations, um, sweet comments. Y'all are always just, y'all go above and beyond. I don't know if it's because I'm a Pisces, um, you know, and maybe we resonate a little bit more in that way. But whatever it is, y'all are just, y'all are so awesome to me and I can't thank you enough. All right. We've got two more. I'm feeling um, decisions. I'm feeling like some big decisions are coming in to play with this reading. We'll, we'll see how it comes out because that was coming in in your pre-shuffle. Um, like judgment card. Very much like big decisions, right? Big decisions that you're making. Maybe other people around you are making some big decisions. Okay. Ooh. Pisces, we're starting off the reading bottom of the deck as your theme for this reading is the Two of Cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Two of Cups can be best friends. Two of Cups can be soulmates, your partner, your loves. It could be a sibling. It could be your, your husband, wife, boyfriend, girlfriend. But there is love in the air. Pisces. All right, let's see what's going on. Again, this is for mid-August 2020. What do we have for Pisces? Yeah, first card out, Tower in Reverse. Let's get some let's get some cards out and then I'm gonna talk about them. What's for what's for Pisces? We have the strength card in reverse. Um, so so far possible Scorpio, Leo for some of you. Pisces, mid-August. Here, what's the message here for Pisces? Eight of Swords in reverse, death, double Scorpio. I like the eight of swords in reverse, at least, if we're gonna have it. Yeah, Hierophant. I had a feeling this was about that. Seven of Swords. I'm going to do another row, but let's talk about what came out. So Tower in Reverse, Strength in Reverse. So it looks like there's been some weak moments. It feels like that, okay? Um, and it's okay. It's okay. We don't always need to be this perfect spiritual warrior. Uh, I'm always strong. Nah, nah, nah. It doesn't have to be that way. Uh, strength card in Reverse. Um, it's just where, you know, you don't feel necessarily physically strong, but you might not feel confident maybe about yourself, uh, self-image. You could be not confident about something that really bad that happened, which is really kind of what I feel is going on here. But strength in reverse could be, you know, so many other just confident stuff. So I would take a look at that and ask yourself, why am I feeling self-conscious or self um, or not feeling confident about something because you're extremely, extreme, extremely, extremely powerful Pisces. So, um, you know, don't let anyone, you know, take your power away from you. But what I'm seeing here with the tower in reverse, strength in reverse, that, you know, there's been a huge shift in your life. Some of you are picking up the pieces um, from a tower moment. Some of you are avoiding a tower moment. It kind of can go either way, but I'm gonna just say that there's been something 
um, very heavy, a huge shift. Um, for a lot of you, it could be, you know, a loss of a job, a change of a job, a breakup, having to move from one home to another. Serious, 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 big shifts in your life is the tower, okay? But the tower is always putting you on a path, um, a better path laid out for you. So it's like you're picking up the pieces from something that happened, a tower, and the result of that is eight of swords. Uh, in reverse. You have in the past Pisces, Eight of Swords, you've been getting in your own way, maybe been trapping yourself with your own thoughts, with your own demons, with your own skeletons in the closet, however you want to say that. Um, but there is some element here of maybe an event of something really, really almost traumatic that ha has happened to you that is actually giving you... Um, what is that like a like a a, a blessing in dis disguise a gift in disguise of getting out of your own head okay so that's really really good i almost feel like something really pushed you to your limits to where you kind of just were like i can't even think about this one more time i just need to surrender and let go so i feel like there's like some healing here with something that happened a huge shift a change um, and that you just were like, all right, I'm just going to end this completely with a death card that major change is needing to happen. How I think about the situation, what I project about the situation, what has happened to me. It's almost like you're needing to um, kill off an old story, okay? Even if something did happen to you that was terrible, I almost want to go deeper with this. And I almost am feeling like something that's happened to you, it's like... You were maybe programmed of from how you would have reacted in the past to maybe walk away from this completely, to let this get the best of you, to, you know, kind of stay down in the dumps, if you will. But there's something different about your energy here, Pisces, where you're actually having, you're taking your power back to stop those negative patterns, to stop that negative talk, to stop that negative um you know harmful mental um imagery and stories that we tell ourselves i feel like you're literally rewriting your own story right now it's like it's like the story of like the book of your life all these chapters that we've you've written before you almost feel i feel like for a lot i know we're getting deep but i feel like for pisces you're it's almost like this your book right now of these old stories and mom taught me that and dad taught me that and then and then my religion taught me that and then that you know and da, 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 and my neighbor it was like this and i've got all of these programs programs built within me but that's not working for the rest of the book that's not working for the rest of your life it's almost like that book like i was saying i almost see it see like you ripping the pages out but now they're showing me the book turning into black it getting burnt it's ashes kind of like death tower it's like you're taking those experiences you're lighting them on fire you're releasing the negativity of that and it's like now there's this white book coming in that's that's awake that's alive that's illuminated and you you have a fresh pen fresh ink they're saying endless ink and you're ready to rewrite, to, to not rewrite, you're ready to start writing your own story, okay? Um, and then we have the Hierophant here. Some of you could be dealing with a Taurus, okay? And with the Seven of Swords, you know, whoop, I don't wanna take those just yet. With the Seven of Swords there, it, you know, the Seven of Swords is a card, um, an energy of trickery, of, you know, sneaky, getting away with something in the night kind of energy. So it's almost like, you know, deception. It's like, how many times, Pisces, are you going to play yourself and deceive yourself, deceive yourself until you stop? So I feel like that's where we're at. It's like a huge groundbreaking, you know, experience, energy that's coming in for you to really, really, really change your life for the better, for the good, for real this time. And with the Hierophant, you know, some, again, some of you could be dealing with a Taurus. It really is about your belief system. What do you believe? I was just having such a similar conversation. Um, who was it? With my, with my little brother the other day. He's a Gemini, by the way, not a Pisces. Um, but, you know, it's like we were ta having this talk. And I feel like that's kind of what's coming out on the table of, you know, what, I, you know, I told him, I go, brother, what do you believe in? 
Don't, you don't have to listen to me. You don't have to listen to this person, that person, whatever. Listen to yourself is really what this breaks down to. What is, what is it that you believe in? What is your belief system? For some of you, the situation with the Hierophant after the death card does have to do with, um, you know, maybe a marriage or a commitment, okay? So let's dig a little deeper as if this wasn't a deep reading already, but let's see what other, what other cards come out here. Again, this is for mid-August. Speaking of brothers, it's my other brother's birthday today. Who is a Leo? All right. There's no way he's going to be watching a Pisces video, but. All right, yeah, we have the King of Swords in reverse, and then we have the Nine of Pentacles. Six of Wands. Let me get a couple more cards out. Five of Pentacles, Queen of Wands in reverse. And then we have Temperance here at the end. I just wanna put this over here. All right, so second row, King of Swords in reverse. We have the Nine of Pentacles, the Five of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands in reverse, Temperance in reverse. Just throwing some signs out real quick. Um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius with the King of Swords, male or female just a little more of the masculine energy we have temperance sagittarius energy queen of wands aries leo sagittarius uh, we have the devil in reverse card of Cap capricorn okay so of all these ending ending that story ending that hard time getting out of your own way really asking yourself what you believe in coming back to that then we have the king of swords in reverse to the nine of pentacles okay so it's kind of like It's kind of like whatever happened here with the tower, okay? This is going to be different for each and every one of you. The tower could have been a breakup, this tower, because it's a major shift, a major shock, a shocking information, shocking change in your life. Tower can, you know, could be a breakup, a breakup losing your job, having to move, um, an unexpected. Y'all already know what I'm talking about, okay? So whatever that was for you. King of Swords, it almost kind of um, closed off your throat chakra. It kind of didn't make you feel comfortable even speaking up. I almost feel like you had to like, Pisces, I see you like swimming through the like ocean, like the turbulent waters, like being the best fish you can, but you like didn't talk the whole time. Like you went through this in silence for some reason, or you, you didn't really express how you were feeling to many people. You didn't really share your experience with anybody. I kind of feel like you were swimming and nine of pentacles, you the only person you knew you could depend on in this turbulent storm, you know, as you're swimming around, the person, the only, only person you felt like you could trust was you nine of pentacles was your own self your own worth your own you and that made you feel five of pentacles that made you feel really really lonely it made you feel without you know it made you feel it, it brought it really really brought in some awareness but you know what's beautiful about this you know what's beautiful about what i just said of you relying on yourself and knowing I, i'm not giving up on me I'm not giving up on me. This story may have ended. I may have broken up with that person. I may have lost that person, that job, meh, not for me anymore. I'm just going to keep swimming. I, I've got me. And that is such a big, valuable tool to carry with you for the rest of your life into every other lifetime that you go into, okay? Um, and it doesn't have to be Five of Pentacles. It doesn't have to be this, I'm lonely. You always are surrounded by love. You always have spirit. You always have yourself, your higher self. You always have you. Um, and I know that doesn't sound like a lot. And a lot of you are like, Jacqueline, that's freaking stupid. It's not. It's the most important thing you could ever ask for is to have a solid relationship with you. Trust me. Speaking from someone from experience who is... In my younger years, I despised myself. I used to not enjoy who I was 
because other people told me you're crappy, you're weird, you have tattoos, you're strange, you're weird. Meh. I get, I got told that stuff all the time. I had every reason to believe the stories that were going on around me. But when I checked in with Jacqueline and said, Jacqueline, how do you feel about yourself? And I started meditating. I said, you know, I may not have as many friends as I want. I may not have certain family members around me that I want. Oh my God, don't get emotional. Um, but I always have me. I always have, um, no one can ever, ever, ever take spirit away from you. No one can ever take your power away from you fully. Um, people will try, people will really try really hard to play against you when you're the black sheep, when you're the outcast, when you're not the normal part of your friends, the normal part of your family, the normal whatever. Fuck normal. I don't cuss on my channel, but fuck being normal. That's so boring. That's so boring, especially for a Pisces. Four of Cups came in, y'all. Sorry, I, I'm such a Pisces. I, I get emotional about that, but um, Four of Cups was in y'all's pre-shuffle, and I just was like, ugh, that's like such emotional boredom. You know what I mean? Like that's so not you. Like, you're so not a boring person. So it's almost like right now, it's almost like an awakening message here of like, please wake up to who you really, 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 really are, okay? Because um, King of Swords, stories, people, conflict will be around you all the time, but there is nothing more important than your own worth, your value, and the, and the essence of you, okay? We also have, um, I'm going to keep moving forward past this message because that's what got, got me caught up, um, but we have the Queen of Wands in reverse um, and then the Temperance card in reverse. Um, There's like a whole other story over here. For some of you, they're, hi, bub. Oh, I was getting upset and Ch Chino came to say hello. Hi, bubba. Um, you know, some of you with the hair fit here, you know, it does represent, it can represent your belief system. Like I said, um, a marriage, a commitment, you know, whatever it is that you believe, you believe in your job, you believe in yourself, you believe in spirit, you believe in, you know, your love life, you're, you believe in your partner, whatever it is that you believe in. One of the two of you, there's something there in this belief system that needs um, attention with the, with the temperance card in reverse. You know, almost like maybe if you and your partner, maybe one of the two of you or both of you are suffering from, you know, some type of codependent, toxic energy because we also have the devil in reverse. So I feel like, oh my God, and there's that four of cups like we were just talking about. Devil in reverse, four of pentacles in reverse. Devil in reverse, temperance in reverse. I feel like you, Pisces, Again, there's a lot of heaviness around you that you are just, it feels like a battle. It honestly feels like, you know, queen of wands in reverse, like that fire, that passion, that determination. The queen or king of wands, especially the queen of wands, she takes action intuitively because she just believes, right? Like she is totally cool with spirit, has all of her beliefs and anything that she feels she needs to do an action that she needs to do she doesn't hold back and she just does it um and that's you know such an awesome thing about the queen of wands but i feel like there is again with the strength card in reverse and the queen of wands in reverse it's like you're almost not confident in yourself to make to fully make this change okay so that's definitely something to look at here um, with temperance in reverse, it is kind of telling me in some type of connection, there still is something kind of, um, I, I don't want to keep saying dragging you down, but that's what I keep hearing for you is it's dragging you down. So be just be careful if it's, you know, drinking too much. Is it smoking? Is it um, like I've been trying to quit smoking. I've been a cigarette smoker off and on um, pretty much my whole life. Uh, but you know, I've quit, ah, it's hard, but 
you know, it's just stuff like that. Like as you are releasing, you know, those heavy things, you're coming truly, truly, truly into yourself. It's like letting other things die off is letting your light shine even brighter, okay? Um, this is really good. Any toxic energy, you know, you're releasing those things. Um, old stories, you're letting those go. And I'm even looking back at this Five of Pentacles, which is that feeling of being alone, but you're so not. You've, you're connected to Earth. There's the moon here giving you that, that internal, constant intuition. Um, you're always being illuminated, Pisces. You're never, never, never alone, okay? Um, so that's what I have for y'all. I, I know it was a little bit of a deep message today, um, but if y'all want to do the love reading, which is the extended, where we talk about the other person you're dealing with in love and romance, the hair fitness here, for a lot of you, this could be about, you know, that person. Um, check out the reading below if you want to. Otherwise, I will see y'all in September. Oh my gosh, that's so crazy to say. I love y'all dearly. I'll see you soon. Bye.